This is a dynamic fluid component F25 series gear pump. We're going to do a uh, rotation flange example for you. Uh, this is an SAE B two bolt mount with a four inch pilot. This is the shaft and the belly of the pump. What we want to show you is that this is a counterclockwise pump that we're going to turn to clockwise. And one simple way to determine rotation on a gear pump is having the shaft face your nose with the belly of the pump uh, down. The larger size port will indicate your inlet size and it's very clear to see here that the right side of our pumps port is larger which is a number 16 SAE therefore causing the rotation to be counterclockwise so uh, we're going to take this model and disassemble it and change the rotation on an F25 dynamic gear pump first thing he's doing is removing the keyway that way your seals are not your shaft seals not damaged during removal placing the pump in a vise with the shaft down and there's a reason for that you'll see there's his end cap now here he's going to hold push the shaft up swapped over the bushing from the drive gear to the belly gear and is simply returning it keeping everything together making sure his seals are uh, both in place slipping it back through turning Turning the body 180 degrees, shaft back through, seals are still in alignment. Now he's going to install the end plate. Let me use a different. foot-pounds Forty foot pounds on the face plates, bolts. Now this will show you the rotation change, and we've removed the cap so you can see the larger port. Larger port is now on the left with the shaft facing your nose. 
and the belly of the pump down, the smaller port, which is your outlet port, is on the right. This is now a clockwise rotated gear pump. Now, if you were in the field, and we took this originally as a clockwise and turned it back twice, uh, just to show some examples today, but if you were in the field and you were to change this from clockwise or counterclockwise, we in-house would uh, buff this off and replace it with an A for anti or counterclockwise. I suggest you do the same in the field. That way, it's there's no question. Uh, but again, you can always, when in doubt, look at the example we showed you in determining rotation. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Dynamic Fluid Components.